Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at highlights and contours and a couple of interesting techniques that you can use to really emphasize certain parts of the face and to simulate uh, certain lighting conditions as well. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to go directly over to the makeover section here. I've already fit this model here. What we're going to do is go directly into the contour and highlight section here. So I'll just select that for now. And you can see uh, in this model the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually try to add some uh, shading and some contouring to, certain, uh, to one side of her face to simulate lighting conditions. Uh, for example, if you've just done a studio shoot and uh, your lighting conditions are not quite ideal, you can actually use highlights and contours to simulate uh, certain lighting conditions. Um, so what I'm going to do is down here in the Highlight and Contour uh, Content Manager, there's a number of templates. I'm going to use, you can see that the lighting is kind of coming from the left here. There's a little bit of shine on the, uh, on the, on the right side of her face. Um, so I'm going to select uh, lighting left, and you can see on all these on the, all these icons here that uh, the shadowing is on the uh, right side of the face here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply one of these. This model her, her face is a little bit long, so not too bad. But we're just going to use this long face template here. And when I double click that, you can see the uh, highlights and contours it applies on her face right away. And if I go into our masking tools here you can see exactly where those um, highlights and contours are being applied. These are the contours here, quite heavy along the forehead to simulate a, a shorter face, um, to counteract the uh, long face. And uh, the highlights here are applied very heavily on the left side of the face. Um, there's also a custom layer here, which we'll get into in just a minute. Um, but if I wanted to, for example, I can uh, go into our contour layer here. I can uh, add some more shadowing along the side of her face there. If we zoom in, we can see it a little bit better. Um, I'll just add a little bit of strength onto the brush there and I'll just uh, crudely brush along the uh, right side of her face here and you'll, see, you'll be able to see the effect on the uh, after image. There you go. You can see it adds a little bit of shadow. Uh, it blends in fairly well. Now the uh, tone here, um, uh, face filter will automatically calculate the colors of your contours and highlights based on your model's face. Um, so this, this um, tone here is fairly well matched to the, uh, the regular tone of her face. Um, I've selected, uh, it's, it selects auto dark tone, which selects, uh, calculates all the colors in her face and selects a suitable tone for the contours. You can select auto bright tone as well, and that'll do the opposite thing. That'll create a, a highlight kind of color there. But we'll keep it at auto dark tone since we're in a contour layer here. And uh, let's move on to a custom layer here. So I'm going to show you how you can actually um, use contours to define certain facial features. And in this particular example, I'm going to define her uh, cheekbone. So I'm going to increase the hardness and the, and the strength of my brush here. Zoom in a little bit on her face. What we're going to do is we're, we're going to try to emphasize this cheekbone here. I'm going to you know, brush size should be okay. So if you want to emphasize the upper cheekbone here, you probably want to have a pattern like this. I'm just going to draw a really quick pattern here. Something like this, and you'll see that on the image on the uh, right here, it creates a nice crude, almost like war paint on her face there. Um, what I can do is increase the uh, level there to make that even stronger. Only we'll leave it something at about, at about 90 for now, maybe even less than that, about 80 should be good. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, feathering tool here now. Feathering tool will actually fade in the uh, the contouring. So once I select that. I'm going to give a feathering value of about, let's go to about 80. Um, and I'll press OK. And when I do that, you'll see the result. It actually just fades it quite nicely into her cheek there. And if I go into our uh, slider view here, we'll take a look. We'll close down the masking tools for now, and you'll see exactly, you'll see a little bit of extra definition in her cheeks there. So it's quite nice. Um, really uh, uh, forms a, a higher cheekbone there. And of course, if we want, we can. Um, go back in and, and further emphasize that if I wanted to you know decrease my brush size I can draw an even stronger line here right in the middle something like that and we can be feather that again a little bit Get that to about 60 it's okay and there we go you can you can draw you can paint and contour and feather and stuff all, all, all you want for every single facial feature um, but I just wanted to show you that example and now we could actually go in um, the uh, highlight and contour uh, section, uh, effects section has uh, four different layers. If we go into layer settings here, you can see there's a custom two uh, layer as well. So I'll select that one here. And what we're going to do for that one is we're going to select auto bright tone, and that'll give an auto bright tone according to her face here. 
And what we'll do is we'll, we'll just uh, paint along the, uh, the apple of her cheek here um, to emphasize that cheekbone even further. What I'll do is I'll just create a brush size here, maybe decrease the brush hardness a little bit. We can just really plant a section along the upper cheek there. And you'll see in the, in the after image there uh, the effect that that has. It's a little bit, uh, probably want to fade that in a bit more, so we'll use the feathering again. Feathering value of about uh, 70, 60 should do. And you can see there that it really adds that uh, emphasis onto the cheek that really brings it out uh, stronger. And you can, you can fool around with all kinds of different patterns here if you wanted to, uh, for example, have something like this. And maybe even, uh, we'll feather that in a little bit as well. It really depends on, on the uh, exact look you're going for. I'm use, we'll use slider view again to show you the, uh, the further detail about how that changes the uh, cheek. You can see those nice highlights now along the upper cheekbone. Uh, the contouring along the lower cheekbone really brings that side out there. So again, here's the uh, total effect. We have the shadowing along the uh, right side of the face here and the uh, highlight and contour to really emphasize that, uh, that cheekbone on the left there. So that's what all we'll cover for uh, highlights and contours in this tutorial. If you have any other questions, you can uh, check out our other tutorials. We have a tutorial as well on facial reshaping and expression adjustment, which we also use extensive highlights and contours. So go ahead and check that out if you want to learn more about that.